In this video I'm going to show you a simple WooCommerce hack that allows you to display monthly payments or installments on your single product page in a way you see it here. If you hover on the icon it displays the interest rate is 3% for a duration of 12 months and you can set it up here. Let's set the interest rate for 5, duration of months 24, save changes, refresh the page and it will recalculate the monthly payment size and displays the correct info. The hack will work with simple products and also with the variable products. Choose the variation and it's here. Setting this up is really easy. We're going to use only one goat snippet and it's done. So if you're interested, then jump in. But before I proceed, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video. That is Kinsta, one of the top dogs in the managed WordPress hosting world. First, Finsta is the highest rated managed WordPress host on G2 and currently it holds an amazing 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. Believe me, that's a big deal. Kinsta is a premium service and it's aimed at businesses that need fast, reliable and secure hosting. Speaking of fast, Kinsta is using the latest tech. What separates them from others is that they are the only managed WordPress hosting that offers Google's top CPU servers at no extra cost. If you don't know, these are some of the fastest servers around, so your website will load in a blink of an eye. Currently, they've also got 37 global data centers, which means you can host your site closer to your visitors. And the closer the data center is to your actual location, the faster your site loads. Pretty cool, right? Here's another fun fact about Kinsta. That is, Kinsta hosts more than 120,000 live websites. And those are from small businesses to huge enterprises. As you see from the screen, it includes also some big names like TripAdvisor, NASA and so on. So, sure, if you're looking for a reliable, fast and secure hosting, then Kinsta might just be what you need. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you today, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child team's functions PHP file. Or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your teams. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use Code Snippets plugin. So I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets, add new, give it the title, for example, monthly payments. And next, paste this snippet here. The link to the code snippet is in a video description, so follow the link and use the code. A couple of explanations. This is a page title. This is a menu title that is played under the WooCommerce here. If you would like to change the text that is displayed here or under the tooltip, then take a look at the line 130, this one here, and line 196. Here you can change the text installments. For a text interest rate for a duration, for the variable products, you can change it here. That is line 189. And for simple products, change this text on line 124. Now, scroll down, choose Run Snippet Everywhere. Save changes and activate. To refresh the page for a second. And now under the WooCommerce, you'll see Installment menu. Here's your interest rate. Here's a duration. Let's set it to 12. And rate for 4. Save changes refresh the page and there you go it is displayed below the product price and for the variable products if we choose the variation it is also displayed under the product price 
Now if you scroll down, here's the CSS code used. Feel free to change it if you need it. If you need to change the location, for example, if you need to change this somewhere else, then take a look at the line 134. Change this hook here. If you don't know how to use hooks, then use Google for searching WooCommerce single product visual hooks. Open it up and then you can choose the hook here. Currently, I'm using the hook WooCommerce single product summary priority 15 but for example if I change the priority to 45 let's save it refresh the page then you'll see it is displayed down below here I don't like it so I'm gonna change it back to 15 and that's basically it there is nothing here to configure anymore now once again the link to the code is in a video description feel free to use it now this is only one of the hacks, but previously I have created a separate video about how to customize your WooCommerce single product page with other 14 useful hacks. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.